people who work in human resources, what is the weirdest thing you have seen? Not HR but a company I worked at, some employees were playing squash or similar racket sport at a gym. One of the guys had been working there for over a year, nice guy. At the gym someone recognized him and called the police. He was arrested shortly afterwards by armed police, for an assassination attempt on the King of Spain. He had fled the country and was using a false name. Worked in HR for a couple years now, mostly for large firms managing facilities within properties. One of the strangest cases was brought about because a client asked us to review CCTV footage as he'd driven past the office late at night and noticed the motion sensor lights inside going on and off and was concerned there had been a break-in. Turned out our night security officer whose primary role is to monitor cameras from the control room was skipping up and down the corridors cause he felt too full of energy and had to get it out of his system somehow. Watching the footage of him skipping featuring the occasional star jump through vacant corridors for 20 minutes at 1 a.m. really made my day. Worked for a large trucking company. Every employee would get a present on their birthday, in the mail, and their names on the video board, this week's birthdays are. A guy called to ask if his name could not be on the board. Reason being his twin brother murdered his parents and he did not want to be reminded of his birthday. Caught a site manager with like 50 plus pairs of panties hidden all over his office in Ziploc bags, a multitude of sex toys, and over 100k in cash stuffed in ceiling tiles. Took a while to unravel all of that. One of the dumbest things. An employee that worked night out at a hotel parked his car at the entrance and would occasionally go out there to drink a bottle of vodka in full view of the cameras. He didn't even sit in his car to drink. Just grabbed the bottle out of the car each time and drank in the open. Seriously, he could have put it in a water bottle and drank at the desk and would have not been caught as soon as he was. My dad works in HR. He just told me about a day when they had to lay off about half of the company. It was crazy and there were a whole lot of moving parts that day. Unfortunately, in all the craziness, no one remembered to tell this one new hire that sadly the position he was hired for was no longer affordable. So he came into the office only to see everyone clearing out their desks and leaving. And then, he got laid off. An hour into his first day. He said the guy understood, but it was the most horrible he ever felt for someone in his life. Call center employee calls HR to complain about their supervisor, he's abusive. He won't even let me leave my desk. Supervisor calls HR to complain about employee, can you please tell her that she's allowed to leave her desk? Oh my god. She's shitting in her trash can. It may sound humorous, but there was significant mental issues at the heart of this. I'm not in HR but my sister-in-law used to be one for a large Canadian tech firm. An executive at the company got very drunk at a conference in Vegas and the company got a call from the hotel saying they have to pay for outside contractors. He had rubbed his poop all over the walls of his hotel room and the hotel cleaning staff refused to deal with it. Obscuring a few details here, you'll understand why in a second. There was a mid-level supervisor at a state agency I never got along with. Guy was nasty, argumentative, real piece of work but still had a decent amount of people loyal to him. I come in one day and he's not there, everyone was distraught. Turns out law enforcement had come after the guy caught him red-handed trafficking CP. Rather than arrest him immediately, they gave him the option to return home, settle his affairs, maybe call his lawyer. He took the opportunity to simply hang himself in his own garage instead. The next couple of weeks was just damage control among the staff when the details came out. Horrible situation all around. I had to see a video of a guy who shit himself during work while running to the restroom because his manager wouldn't let him leave a meeting early. The guy had IBD and the manager knew this, so the video shows him running down the hall and literally a few feet from the restrooms, he starts shitting himself and you see it coming down his leg pant. He looked to be in pain cause he kinda collapsed, and then got back up. People were baffled when they saw this live. Manager was fired. Definitely the weirdest shit I've ever seen, literally. I used to work at a staffing agency that placed people at manufacturing positions. Everyone had to be drug tested at the office as part of the orientation. If the pickup came back as inconclusive, we'd send the potential hire to a medical lab. They would take another drug test and the lab could determine if the person was on a prescription or using illegal drugs, and therefore, not eligible for hire. 
so one guy failed his drug test at the lab. He came back to the office claiming that it wasn't his fault. He explained that he he was riding in a car and he stuck his head out of the window. Then, when the car passed under a bridge, someone threw a bunch of cocaine off the bridge, it hit him in the face, and he accidentally inhaled it. I got a call from a woman I'd never spoken to, asking when she could start. She'd received a job offer after interviewing with a manager for a customer service position, she told me, but no one ever contacted her about a start date or pre-employment processes like a background check, and it had been a month. After a lengthy investigation, it came out that this manager had fabricated a job opening and offered it to this woman in an attempt to impress her. She quit her job, but, it should be noted, did not respond to the manager's romantic overtures, with the expectation of joining my company. She got a settlement, with an NDA and the guy who hired her got fired. I worked closely with HR in a call center. You'd get some crazy stuff. Guy that carried a cooler every day was wiping shit on random walls and desks. It was his shit in his cooler. We thought it was his lunch. He got caught when he wiped it on the front desk directly inside of the camera. Another guy had a colostomy bag that he refused to empty when it got full. You would find these trails of liquid poo randomly and we had to throw out four chairs that he ruined. He was fired quickly and tried to claim discrimination because he was a veteran. You'd also get a crazy amount of period stains on chairs. Look, it happens, but when it's the same few people, and we have free sanitary supplies in the bathroom, you know they just don't care. My wife works in HR. She had to question a high-ranking employee about an incident where a lower-ranking employee who was being talked to about her inappropriate wardrobe choices which clearly violated company policy, decided in an act of protest to take out her, quite large, left breast and smack it down on the table and ask him in her thick New England accent is this too much cleavage for you? Obligatory not HR, but in a previous job, the night security guy was connecting 121 to cam girls on overnight shifts using work ID. Cam girl recorded their sessions and blackmailed him. HR had to watch the footage of him choking the chicken to completion. Lovely. Two people had cut a hole in the wall between their offices. They pushed their filing cabinets to hide the hole on both sides. Cleaning staff was asked to deep clean the offices one day and they found the hole. Both parties involved were married, not to each other. They were having sex through the wall. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.